Hello my dear friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'll be talking about the shape workbench which is uh, completely new to my tutorial channel. So this is what we are going to deal with. So I'm going to talk about the most important tool in this workbench that is the uh, freestyle and uh, the 3D curve is the tool that I'm talking about. So click on the freestyle and open the workbench and here let's see how we can uh, locate the tool so it's in the insert curve creation 3d curve so there are uh, some basic set of rules that you need to follow to uh, work with 3d curves so 3d curve help you to uh, build outlines when you're uh, modeling uh, automobile or uh, aircraft or anything so if you insert uh, the blueprint, like the side views and front views, etc., it's very easy to create boundaries on that particular uh, uh, boundaries of the automobile or whatsoever. So let's firstly, um, let me talk about the compass. So once you select the 3D curve, you need to lock the privileged plane. Once you do that, the uh, compass turns into an orientation, which would be uh, similar to this. Now you can uh, come to the side view. Uh, let me show you how this works out. Uh, and create a curve. Basically, this is how the curve is. Now if you come to the top view, you can see it's a straight line. But still you can make it like this. Now again, if you come to the right view, this is how it is. You can still adjust it. And this is the best part about a 3D curve. So as the lock privileged plane is on, the plane which you are the uh, point moves with respect to that particular plane and that's how the log privilege plane works and see the plane the uh, curve is uh, actually being modeled or uh, the points are relocated in such a way that uh, however we want it's how it is so uh, the difference between uh, the curve that you prepare in generative shape design is that in that you can uh, there 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 is a particular limit when you create curves in generative shape design or wireframe and surface design workbench so another thing once you double click on this you have uh, you can still click uh, keep on uh, adding the points and uh, you can insert a point by doing like this and you can even there are some impose tangency etc options which I will be talking uh, in detail when I uh, uh, when I keep going with the shape design workbench and that's it for this particular part of the tutorial just try to insert uh, or just try to insert some curve 3D curve and just try to pull pull and see how the point reacts to you and that's all for this particular part I hope you are enjoying my tutorial and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned